All right, welcome to another SFPV build video. Today we are going to be building the Shen Drones Squirt, aka the Cine Whoop. Uh, I just literally got this in the mail about 10 minutes ago, and I was so excited that I uh, really just wanted to jump right into the build. I've been looking for, you know, some other form of flying to kind of get into, so I want to do more cinematic stuff. Um, and this is like the perfect little rig for doing that. It carries a GoPro Hero 6 or 7. I'm going to be running my um, GoPro Hero 6 because I don't have a 7 yet. Um, we should get great footage still. Um, and yeah, so let's, we're going to dive right into this. Basically, if you want to go kind of read the backstory about the frame and where, where the idea came from and evolution, uh, as Shendrons usually does, they have a whole write-up and it's pretty interesting to read through it and watch some of the videos of the testing. So I will leave that to you guys. Um, so let's talk about some of the components we're going to be using. We've got the Lumineer all-in-one Alpha uh, flight controller with OSD BEC 30 amp 4-in-1 um, ESC with BLLA 32. So who's that guy? Uh, for motors, we're going to be using the Lumineer 1407 KV. See if we get that focus. Uh, VTX, we're going to be using a TBS Unify Pro HV, so we can get the 800 milliwatts. Uh, and then for RC Link, we're going to be using a Crossfire Nano. Um, and that's pretty much it. So here's the frame. This is kind of what the carbon plate looks like. And then these ducts are going to go on the side, like so. So we're going to go ahead and mount the motors first, and then we'll get the all-in-one board on and go from there. It should be a pretty quick build though, so let's get going. the alpha all-in-one board um, so this comes with some hardware but what I'm going to use are some um, soft mounted standoffs so we're not going to use this hardware it's just standard nylon hardware we're going to soft mount this on some nice rubber standoffs so we'll get that going and um, at this point I might put the ducts on just to kind of see where the motor wires need to go. So let's see, let's look at these pictures. It looks like the motor wires go under, just right under the duct, which is kind of what I was expecting. Let's see. Of course, you can't see it. Yeah, so it looks like they just push them off to the side. Cool. And then come back up. All right, so we can get the FC mounted and then solder up the, uh, the motor wire, signal wires to the ESC. So let's get that going. First, let's take a look at this. Um, this AIO board real quick. Just look at the specs. So this one was uh, 75 bucks. Comes with the ESC flight controller, as mentioned. Peak current is going to be 35 amps. Uh, continuous current is 30 amps, so plenty of uh, room for us to breathe there. Two to four S light, but we're going to be on four S on these 3200 kV motors. Um, it's got a five volt out, so we can power uh, our peripherals, our RX, our um, LEDs if we want to. 
probably gonna put LEDs on here just for uh, more for safety if I'm filming filming people just so they have you know better visibility of the drone. Um, let's see. Yeah, so that's pretty much pretty basic. Um, I don't know it just looks solid, and uh, I like love the idea of an all-in-one for a little build like this. So let's get it cracking. All right, so I think what we're gonna do is get these ducks on. So we need to take the standoffs, come in the kit, and get those mounted up. So once we have the the ducks on, we can route the motor wires more accurately. So let's see, I think we got two different size standoffs here, potentially. Yeah. So let's see, we'll pull the picture and see which ones go where. Just try to get all the hardware out. I'm guessing the shorter standoffs go on here. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. So we're gonna put the shorter standoffs on the outer mounting holes. All right, so from there we can put the ducks on. So there's a Standoff mounts on the inside and on the outside. The outside ones are going to go on the outer part of the arm. And it looks like they just slide right over. Standoffs. Alright, so that's the front and then the back. So now what we can do is take our motor wire and kind of route it down and then back up so that this lays flush. So what I think I'm going to do is put the these other two standoffs on right here so that the ducts can kind of lay flat as we mount the motor wires. So we're going to take these longer standoffs and mount those. on the front and back of the frame. Here, let's get the Ford one mounted up, and then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna try to use these guys, they're the little rubber male to female standoffs. Uh, I think they're, I think they're f seven millimeters. So we'll need four of those. And then some nylon screws to go up from underneath the frame. So we'll keep it nice and light. So we might have to trim these nylon screws a little bit because the cavity inside of these standoffs is actually pretty shallow. And the screws a little bit too. All right, so we got our screw shortened. So I just took the um, 
the ducts off by just unscrewing the standoffs and left the standoffs in, that seemed to be easier. Now I have my motor wires tucked away with zip ties, so just temporary, so we can solder up the um, motor wires to the ESC. So we're just going to trim these up and measure them out and then solder them up. So let's get that going. So we got all four motors soldered up to the ESCs, nice and clean. So what we can do now is probably remove these uh, zip ties. Actually, you know let's see if we can leave them on. Or at least we'll leave them on while we mount the, uh, the ducts and then we can snip them. Just make sure everything fits nicely. All right, so let's get rid of all these extra wires we don't need. All right, that looks good. So we'll leave the ducks off to the side until we get to the last step because we're not going to need them. So the next step is we'll get our pigtail soldered on. So we need to figure out how much distance we need. So here's the top plate. And the antenna is gonna mount off the back here. So let's just make sure. We have enough room there. So I think we can just have it come right out the back here. All right, so that looks good. And then what we're probably going to do is put our VTX right on top here. And then we'll have the pigtail come out the back. <sighs> we got our 5 volt ground video out. So we're, let's get the camera wired up. So we're going to have video in. Um, 5 volt and ground. So I believe this camera will fit, but let's see if we have a smaller, lighter camera. We can go with the uh, Runcam Swift 3 here. Let's just make sure these standoffs will fit. Yeah, we can make that work. So for the VTX, uh, we can run this straight off of the, uh, the power of the quad. It's only running 4S, and this is rated up to 6S. And actually, uh, what we might do is power the camera off of the VTX. Let's do that instead. So I'm going to think you use the same connector. Let's see. Let's get this powered up. So we're going to take the... 7 to 26 volt on the right side, which means power and then the ground. And we're just going to solder that straight to the battery, battery pads. Okay, so that's our VTX power. 
And then let's see, this camera cable is kind of crazy long, but um, let's see. Can probably just twist it up and use it. So we're gonna need our audio, which is this white cable. That's gonna go to our smart audio on the Crossfire. So we'll just trim that and save that for later. So on the camera connector, all we're gonna need are the um, red, black, and yellow. We can cut the rest of these. And then I'm actually gonna take this connector off because we don't need it now that I think about it. Um, what we will need to do though is, here we can twist these up at least, kind of make that a little tidier. Actually, I'm going to take some VHB and stick that down. Alright, so we got our VTX VHB down. Now we're going to take this yellow wire and we're going to split it because we need to send the video out and the video into the FC. So we're going to take the yellow wire going into the VTX and solder that to the video out on the FC. Okay, and then we'll take the other side and that'll be our video in coming from the camera. And then we can just twist this cable up nice and tight. And just keep that out of the way for now because we're going to need to solder up our crossfire next. So we're going to be using the crossfire nano. And we're probably just going to mount it right behind the camera there. So let's go ahead and tin this guy up. So we're gonna need the five volt, the ground, channel one, and then the uh, smart audio. It's gonna go to channel four. All right, so we're gonna take the little wire kit that comes with the crossfire. And we'll take a black wire, a red wire, and a yellow wire. And then we'll start with the ground on the far right hand side. And sometimes what I like to do is stick it down just for a second. But you know, we'll just mount it right now. So it'll make the soldering easier. So we're just gonna take some more VHP. Put that right on the bottom here. And then we'll mount it in place. It's gonna make our life a lot easier. And we'll take our red wire Add that to the five volt, which is right next to the black, the ground. And then our yellow right next to the red. And then we'll take this white wire from the Unify. And that's gonna go to channel out four. So we'll trim that one.
right, so now we just need to attach these wires to the flight controller. So we're gonna do a five volt ground and signal. So let's go back to the this graphic. So our yellow wire, that's gonna go to S bus, which is right next to the USB. Let's trim that. Actually, we'll just trim them all to the same length, keep it clean. And then we'll just tin all of these real quick, and then we can just solder them up to the flight controller. Okay, so we'll start. Um, I like to go right to left because I'm left handed, so we'll start with the. Um, ground our black wire that's gonna go right next to the video coming from the VTX all right so next step is gonna be binding our crossfire so we're just gonna plug this in put the RX in a bind mode and then we'll go into our crossfire module in the bind mode and then we're going to update the receiver so it matches the firmware on our TX. Now we are bound up so what we're going to do is let's see we're going to have to run an S bus on this AIO so we're going to go into RS Nano output map and then we're gonna output one, change it to S bus, and then we're gonna output four and put that to smart audio. And show the VTX pop up, which it did, and we can set the channel on here now. All right, so that's good. So now we're gonna go into beta flight and get everything set up in there. So our receiver is already set to S bus. That's good. Uh, we don't need LED strip on. We're not using that. We'll do anti gravity, dynamic filter, air mode, OSD, uh, GPS. We don't have D shot 600. Looks good. Orientation is good. We don't need barometer. We don't need accelerometer. And then we'll run this on AK AK. Okay, and then we're gonna go into the OSD and get that set up. So we'll just have a uh, fly time timer on, main battery voltage, don't need flight mode, don't need any GPS, we'll do milliamps, we'll do craft name. And then we'll save that and then we'll upload. Uh, I've been using the Clarity font, so upload that. Okay. So now let's plug in. Oh, doesn't look like the font saved. Okay, well, let's plug it in. And we'll test our motors. That one's spinning the right way. 
This one is not. Motor three is good. Motor four is good. So we just need to go into feel heli. Oh, wait, actually. Oh, that one's good. Okay, we're all good. All right, let's check the receiver. That looks good. So we're going to change it to Spectrum, Grapner, JR. TR. All right, so now we are ready for the final assembly here. So we'll get our pigtail situated. So let's see, let's add, let's go ahead and put our uh, right ducks on. So put our camera mount on. So. You know, we're gonna to to put our camera on first. So let's take this one off. 